A dishwasher circulation pump is the component that forces the water up through the wash arms to clean the dishes during the wash cycle. If you don't hear the water being circulated during the wash cycle, the circulation pump can be tested for continuity to help determine if the component is working properly. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the pump. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the pump is faulty. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform a continuity test. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the leads together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. You will probably need to uninstall the dishwasher to access the circulation pump. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Unthread the screws or detach the fasteners so you can remove the dishwasher's lower access panel or panels. Set any insulation aside. Unthread the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next. Unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Unthread the wire nuts to detach the power wires and release the grounding wire as well. Unthread the power cord strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screws securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to raise the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Move any insulation out of the way. Disconnect the power line connector or connectors from the circulation pump. Now contact the black meter lead to one of the pump terminals and the red lead to the other terminal or terminals. The meter display should indicate 10 to 100 ohms of resistance if the pump is functioning properly. However, if the meter display shows little or no change, then the pump has no electrical continuity and the part will need to be replaced. With the power line connector or connectors attached to the pump, Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary.
Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the power cord in the junction box, then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire. Join the appropriate power wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace any insulation. Reposition the lower access panel or panels and secure the screws or fasteners. With the dishwasher fully reinstalled, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power.